I'm honored to be with the Member of Parliament for Fulham and Chelsea and the Minister of State for International Trade, Mr. Greg Hans. Mr. Hans, thank you so yes. much for your time. Delighted to be here, thank you. Okay, so what brings you to South by Southwest? Well, it's, uh, we've got a massive UK presence here this year at uh, South by. Uh, it's the biggest uh, uh, non-US uh, presence in the whole of the, uh, the, whole of the uh, convention, the whole of the festival. And it's really, really important for me as the trade minister to promote UK exports mm -hmm. and also to show the UK is a great place for foreign companies to invest, uh, particularly in the tech and creative sectors. Okay, tell us a little bit more about how important has, it is to have influence here, UK influence at this event. Well, I think it's really important to show that uh, the UK is a great place uh, for US tech companies to come. Mm -hmm. uh, increasingly, a large number of them are setting up uh, European headquarters in London and across uh, the UK more generally. Uh, and it's a really important place for UK companies, UK startups to start interacting with the larger US tech scene. Uh, so for both of those reasons, it's really important for the UK to uh, support uh, interaction between the United Kingdom uh, and Austin, Texas doing South by. Now, what kind of competition is there between US tech and British tech, is it, if, well, if that exists at all? Yeah, I suppose there is a little bit in places, but we work generally pretty well together. Mm -hmm. uh, the UK is a great environment for US tech companies to set up in, to operate in. Uh, it's no coincidence that most of the US tech giants choose uh, the UK as their European headquarters. Uh, we work well together. The UK government is there to support them. We, we value foreign direct investment very much coming into the UK. Uh, it's really important for us. So I don't think we need to be rivals. In fact, I think <laughs> we can work together. Uh, and actually, a lot of UK companies get a lot of business out of US uh, uh, tech firms, and I think vice versa. I appreciate that attitude. Now, tell me which British companies you're excited about. You see a lot of tech companies and, and how they're pushing innovation. Which ones excite you the most? Well, I think uh, one company we've got here called uh, Laduma, which is uh, very good in uh, VR. Uh, we've got uh, other UK companies here that are doing uh, uh, quite a lot in terms of the innovation uh, that we're showing here. So I wouldn't want to plug uh, too many specific companies, but I would say that the, we'd, we've got quite a variety of here on show. Okay, so there is two clubs that are in your jurisdiction, Fulham and Chelsea. That's right. And you're in the trade game. Now, Chelsea's on top of the Premier League. And Fulham is in the championship, a division below. They're in seventh, not too far from the promotion That's spot, but they could good. use you're, some you're help. Good. Could you maybe trade? I know, I know it's not possible. Could you maybe get Diego Costa or Eden Hazard to maybe step down to Fulham and really give them that push to get back up to the premiership? Well, it's a very, very good idea. Trade is what I do, but it's, <laughs> I, I do draw a line when it gets to uh, football or soccer. Um, the one thing I would say is that I, all I can say, I'd be very, just very glad that Chelsea doesn't change its MP as often as it changes its football manager. <laughs> Easy, I like yeah, that. A That's little bit great. of more job security for me <laughs> in my position. That's awesome. And then for all the years you've given to the UK, when will you finally be Sir? Greg Hands. When does that when does that happen? Well, I don't think that's going to happen anytime oh, soon. Oh, come on! I, I, I seem I seem a bit young to be a sir, so um, I'm happy just being plain old Greg Hands for the time being. There he is. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Hands. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks very much indeed.